Tell me what you built. So our uh, final project is about uh, designing uh, controllers for scaled HVAC buildings and and we are interested in, in, in saving more energy in, in buildings and make, making them smarter and more efficient. So our final project was more dedicated into designing um, both the hardware and the software of designing this scaled, uh, controlling this scaled HVAC system. So by scaled, you mean this is like a small model of a building? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a small model of the HVAC building, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, where we have two loops, the condenser loop, the hot side loop, where you have the red liquid inside it, and the uh, chiller loop from the other side, where you have the green liquid inside it. So this, so this is like the building load down here then? Exactly, this is like a building load down here and our goal is to condition that space. Uh, so what we built for this project was a dedicated controller that can control all the actuators on the rig plus uh, the wireless communication protocol for getting data back and forth from the rig to the computer. So on the computer then we just have the little dongle here which is the communication the, link. Exactly. So, so this acts as a Zigbee coordinator module and uh, this is known as the Zigbee router. So basically this is the uh, hub of the entire network. So for example if you have multiple nodes uh, you can have uh, uh, a single uh, node which controls uh, the data flow between each and every other node. So basically what we have here is uh, a simple uh, user interface uh, wherein you can actually set uh, the communication parameters and the parameters within the controller so you don't have to actually go and reprogram it every time. So the basic features we have here is uh, the user can enter the number of uh, data points uh, he or she wants, the interval between consecutive data points and also you can set several parameters like uh, the set point you want the system to be at, the gains of the uh, control loops within the system uh, yeah, so basically this is uh, what the, uh, basically some kind of interaction between the user and the controller. And uh, we also have a feature of uh, entering the destination address of the node. So for example, if we have multiple nodes, uh, then the, the user can decide to, uh, to decide from which node he actually wants the data. So you've made, so you've made this scalable even at this early stage to yes. multiple nodes? Yes. Yes. Be, uh, before we end the video, we wanted to demo the operation of the video here, of the uh, scaled system. So Nirav will go on and turn on the scaled HVAC. The power supplies are a little bit noisy. They are a little noisy, but we can see that. And you've put the groovy lights on there for the yep. demo. And the fans are running, so this is a heat exchanger fans yes. up here. Yep, and we see the effect of the PID controller now switching on and off uh, different actuators on the system. Uh huh. Very good. The pump's running. The pump is running. The chiller loop pump is also running. Those two fans are off because the Piltier heater cooler is trying to achieve its set point. Mm -hmm. We made some um, multiple checks for safety. So we're checking the temperature of the Piltier heater here. If it exceeds a certain temperature, then we will switch it off for safety. If there is no flu fluid running in the system, then we switch off the pump. If there is any leakage or something. Okay, so it's got it's got self safety features as yes. well as the data logging and and wireless communication. Very nice. Thank you.